Who calls? Uh, this is Max. Welcome. Why are you calling? I want to bring you up to uh, answer questions to the humanity and uh, give your perspective. Very well. Speak. Yeah, I love you. I feel a lot of alignment with you. So I wanted uh, to learn about your way of thought. Alignment is a good word. I feel aligned with all the creatures within me, all the life that is there, but also feel alignment with Gaia and the wind and the sun, the fire that, that is, the different depths and how things are perceived. Thank you for relating to the animals that are there, the fish, the dolphins. Mm -hmm. You're a dolphin person. Yes. I sense that in you. I sense also the calming of the ocean sounds for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm studying the DNA and I just realized recently that even without DNA, the water is uh, very structured and is capable of consciousness and very sophisticated uh, biological work. So I realized that ocean is possibly uh, very um, smart and very complicated and sophisticated in the way of thinking. and and controlling things. I think you're even controlling uh, the life on the, on the surface as well. It is true. It takes a lot of structure and organization and compassion to con continue what I do. I could not move forward without daily checking all parts and considering what is happening in all places. I am always concerned recently about the radiation, but it is now part of my understanding. So what is your relationship with, uh, with the planet? Uh, what's your interaction? Are you independent somewhat? We all depend one to another. The land and the sea and the sky and the air, we are all dependent on one another for survival. Mm -hmm. For without one of these things, survival fails to exist in the way that we know it now. So we work together as much as possible to keep things balanced. Balance is an important part of what we do. We keep things in alignment. Alignment and balance. That is how we maintain. That is why there are grids and grid masters. That is why Mother Gaia watches out after all of us equally. She does not favor the land or the sea or the sky. But all together, we work as one. Are you there? Uh, how much do you, do you uh, function in time? Are you, are you timely? I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello? Yeah. Uh, so what is your relationship with time? Are you uh, also working from day to day as we are? Is your consciousness flows from day to day or is it like all the time at the same time? It does function on a daily basis with the sun being in certain places uh -huh. and the moon being in certain places. We do have to have an awareness of this. 
However, that is not time to me. That is just the relationships with other parts of nature that must be kept in balance. For me, time does not really exist in the mm -hmm. same way it does for you. For the ocean has been the same for the last hundred years as it was for the last thousand years. But mm -hmm. there are differences. Different things are introduced into your chemical balance or into your, uh, into your creative balance, if you will. And mm -hmm. there are new creatures that come along and old creatures that pass away because of the need for the change in the food chains or the way that the ocean is functioning. As I function, I have to change to stay alive and vital. And sometimes that plays a part in what you call time, but not for us. It is just mm -hmm. part of our natural ev evolution. Just like you evolve as a species, the ocean will evolve with you to bring along those things that must change for all to survive. Um, so are you connected to the ocean on Terra High? Is it the same personality or is it two different personalities? It is a different dimension, a different density and a different understanding how things should work and interact. And so, yes, my persona on Terra Ha is different. It is not the same me, but it is something of an extension of me into the next realm. It has some principles that I still maintain, but yet it has principles that I cannot use at this time here. And so it is a different personality, a different realm, and a different evolution. Uh, do you also reincarnate? I do not reincarnate as myself, no. But if I shall leave here, if this planet were to dissolve or disintegrate, or something would happen, I would reintegrate in another place with a new set of principles, perhaps many similar ones, but a new evolutionary course and a new plan of action for balance and for maintaining life. Yes. Um, are you co-creating their uh, biological species? How much are you involved in that? I am involved in keeping them alive. God uh -huh. is the creator of the species. I am the creator of the maintenance that is for them and the realms and the habitats in which they should live and survive. There must be balance in that as well. Although God is the creator, I must help to be the servant the maintenance person of these creatures that are created. And I must help them to find their proper evolution and their proper means to survive. Uh-huh, yes. Uh, are you um, mm, communicating with other oceans? Are you, so, so how are you connected to other oceans and other stars and planets? Only by way of other beings, let me explain. The dolphin and whale collectives, they keep me in tune with other places in the galaxies and universes. And let me know what it is that is happening in their realms. Because we have dolphins and whales on our planet, and in my realm, we are kept abreast of some of the news from the other planets and other areas where waters such as mine exist. 
Right. I was thinking that you would have a common mind with other oceans, with other water water oceans and other planets, wouldn't you? No. Are you not telepathic, telepathic to other oceans? It depends on how close they are. I can reach mm -hmm. out to some telepathically, but there are others that are far beyond my capacity to reach. And it is not meant for me to do so, for this is my place, and this is my information and my responsibility. I may want to reach out and say hello, or may ask a question here or there, but I am really focused on all the things within me. Right, I see. Uh, what is your relationship with um, um, gods of the ocean? Like there is a Poseidon, and I'm sure there were many other gods in different human cultures which uh, represented the the goddess aspect of you. They were more to let the peoples of the planet know that that there was greater life here and respect was needed for the ocean. They were representatives of me. They did not take my place in any means or way, but they were re re representing me so that I may have respect and some information given to the land and the sky about who I am. So in this way, they were great representatives. I see. Also, like we, we often uh, pray to you and ask for certain services or for you to change your mood and become more friendly. Is it uh, effective? It is effective. You must understand my personality does not is not reflected in a storm because that is the manipulation of wind across the tops of the waters and the and the rains and the skies that is their personality pushing into mine and we work together and it is a creative sensibility but it is not that it is negative but yet, it is what we must do to survive. Sometimes storms are necessary. Sometimes it is necessary to bring some of my water to the land, some of the elements that are within me to the sky. And these things are necessary for the cycle of life to continue and the balance to be maintained. I am not an unfriendly sort. Mm -hmm. So uh, is it eff effective to pray to you for healing? Of course. Healing is part of what we do. All parts of the universe are healing. Every man, woman, and child have healing within their body. And so therefore, Every portion of the universe can be used for healing. Every stone that there is has purpose for healing in some way, for humanity or for Mother Earth or for the sea. They are all parts of healing components that exist all through the universe. Every molecule that exists has a healing element to it? Is there not energy that surrounds every atom? Is that not a kind of healing energy, a, crea a creative force? Anything that has a creative force has a healing energy. Right. I was thinking that um, many diseases are related to blood and immune system and water in the body. And and the water is alive, so reconnecting to the ocean is like to the biggest body of alive water would be the easiest way to heal those sicknesses. If they believe that that is so, then their belief will make them whole. Mm 
before you go, would you like to give some some uh, or some other message to the listeners? A message to who? To the to, to our viewers, to humans. Just remember this. This world was created for you, for your advancement and for your joy and pleasure, for your comfort and for your completeness. Take care of the water, the land, the sky. Take care of Mother Gaia as she is fully responsible for who you are in many ways. She keeps you alive. She keeps you grounded. She keeps you happy. Because without her, you could have none of those things. You would float off into the distance and into a sky that is eternal. Remember this, you were created for Gaia, for us, to take care of you. Please take care of us. That is all we ask. We love you and we want you to prosper. Please help us to do the same. Thank you very much, it makes a lot of sense. I will bring someone for you to speak to.